Hello, this today is a video diary um, about the experiences I have. I get all kinds of phone calls, all kinds of text messages with people saying that they know Jason. Um, this one stood out because it actually had pictures of uh, a situation because I kept getting terrorized and harassed and police would only cover for him. So I went up to the job to see what I, to his job to see what I can do to intervene and stop him from harassing me because police only covered for him. So that's when I saw the police officer that I said he didn't really look like an authentic police officer. He looked like I was, was, you know, like a stripper. So I didn't know if he was really authentically a police officer because I didn't know what was going on. I don't understand why so many different police departments would protect this man. I've noticed now that he has changed his whole profile to try to hide the money that he had. He kept showing off his money. Now he's minimizing his wardrobe and trying to hide the the income because I was told that he had millions, possibly billions. And he would show that off. And now I have seen a significant change in his profile and his pictures on his um, uh, social media. Yes, I have checked his social media. I try to minimize how I check it, but I'm doing my own investigation work. So I need to know what I'm up against. So anyway, this was um, this stood out because when I um, this is a picture of him that one of his um, parties that he knows is sending me, and then this is me at his business. So this is scary because these people actually do know him that are trolling me and harassing me. So I have a um, one of his followers because I mean, how would they get the information of what happened at his um, business? How could they get these pictures? This was at his business when I was there. Trying to get him to stop harassing me. The police came and I told the police that I believe that he was behind my false arrest and the police wouldn't talk about it. I said that I didn't want to be there anyway. I told the police that on body cam footage. I said the only reason why I'm here is trying to save my life because you guys won't investigate anything. So I'm trying to see why he's, I believe he's harassing me. This was at his job when I went to see why he was harassing me and trying to get it to stop because the police kept covering for him. So these people really do know him. So here's another one. They told me um, that he was trying to get a protection order. Let me go to another one. Okay. Um, this is where it says Jason has a restraining order against you. And then it says that I taunted Wolf and made Wolf pull the gun on me and put it, put it up to my head and pull the trigger. It, basically, it's my fault. Well, I don't have the right to do a restraining order. They made me leave pushing and shoving me, violating me to prevent the, uh, me to get the protection order. And staff watched there watched and did nothing in fact i asked what happened with the multiple protection orders and the um the receptionist said i'm not telling you nothing that was his comment when he witnessed people come intervene and be trying to get a protection order and then they claimed the multiple other ones they lost they, they claimed that the one that was done at the family place was lost now a family place mistreats me and threatens the police to prevent me from getting and assistance with my situation. So here's one. Then I have multiple people that call me, claim to know Jason. I, I haven't reached out to any, contacted his family or anything. So if I'm the mentally ill one, why am I not reaching out to his family and stalking his family and asking them to stop him from harassing me or asking them what's going on. But some kind of way, all his, a lot of his friends and families are uh, contacting me. And those pictures prove that whoever has access, they claim it's a video and that he's going to post saying that I'm mentally ill. So, you know, these are just, you know, evidence of my situation since police deny investigation for all my reports and um, protect him. Here's another video. Well, not video, but another message. Um, these are a lot of insults, but it to me, it just seems like a jaded ex is behind this all tuna pants. The truth hurts. You're almost 40, grow up. You're always a victim. 
five years actually had a um I'm looking through this other device. So it says something about delusions of grandeur and paranoid cause your own self-sabotage, thinking people are setting you up and who don't give a and it's corny and tired. So it to me, it really seems like someone is upset that's like a jaded ex. I'm not an officer and I can't get police investigation, but that's what it seems like to me. And like I said, the reason why I posted this because they actually had video footage of me going to his business trying to get him to stop harassing me. The police showed up, gave me a criminal trespass. I said, okay, I didn't want to be here in the first place. I'm just trying to save my life. I told the police that. I also asked the police if we could discuss the multiple false arrests I have that I think he's behind. The police denied it. They told me to leave. The only reason why I came there in the first place is because I stopped the um, online relationship. I ended that and went to the domestic violence place because I believe that he was uh, breaking the law and had cameras in the home that police wouldn't investigate. I called him multiple times because he was posting stuff. I had the um, video. I had the um, comments. A lot of the comments that showed were it looked like he was watching me. I showed the officer that and he covered for it and left. They denied me the right to investigate the voyeurism investigated. So I had to sit in that house feeling like I was getting watched at home. He told me down to lotions that I was using, Victoria's Secret's lotion that I was using. So that was pretty incredible. And I had to sit and marinate in that because police would not investigate it and cover for everything. <laughs> 